the next level. Take the InfoWars challenge. Regardless, you're getting high quality iodine that on record the government admits everyone needs. It's essential. And you're supporting the very tip of the spear in revolutionary pro-liberty media. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. There's no other iodine like it on earth. Over and over again, I hear people say they would never do anything to willingly harm people. And yet, the very same people that uh, Darren McBreen was talking about in that report there, the Health and Human Services, they were the ones who were involved in this experiment on premature infants. They would do that to them if they would give veterans depleted uranium. Uh, you know, now, is it any surprise to people what we see happening at the VA? When we see that they have exposed their troops knowingly to depleted uranium after they had at first banned it because of the health uh, consequences, the same as they did with fluoride, they're not really concerned about the health consequences. That's why we've got to take it on our own. Isn't that correct, uh, Paul? Yeah, that's right. I mean, the ultimate tool of self-empowerment is getting control of your health. Anyone can do it. It, it doesn't take some mass organized action to do that. So, that's right. I mean, that, that is one area where you can achieve complete success on your own if you're knowledgeable, knowledgeable about the issues. So, I mean, once, once you get your health back on track, then your mind starts to function better. You can think clearer. You can, you can create content easier. You can, you can write better. So that is the source of everything. If, you, if you've got a solid basis, then you can move forward onto other areas uh, with more gusto and more success. And, and it's really, really is an info war, just as we're trying to get people educated about the health effects, get them to understand that the government is capable of doing things to people, as we've seen over and over again with the experiments in North Carolina University, University of North Carolina, with the experiments at the University of Alabama, deliberately doing things that are going to harm people's health, not getting informed consent, doing things that they would not be ethically or legally allowed to do, even if they had informed consent. And as we see, tomorrow is going to be the 25th anniversary of Tiananmen Square. What are they trying to do? They're trying to block information about it. We have an article here. Google is reportedly banned in China ahead of the Tiananmen Square anniversary. They said they have reportedly blocked all Google services just for days before the 25th anniversary of the military clampdown on student protests centered around Beijing's Tiananmen Square. The reported blockage, which has not been confirmed by the Chinese government, do you think they'll confirm that, Paul, is believed to be a deliberate act of censorship leading up to the anniversary tomorrow, June 4th. They even grabbed a, uh, a fellow, Guo Jing, as he was taken away from his home in suburban Beijing. He's one of the former protesters that were there. He's going to be locked away. He's now in jail. He's going to be locked away until June 15th. And then, of course, uh, later this week, the next day, is going to be the one-year anniversary of Ed Snowden's leaks. And the feds are now cooperating with uh, Wikipedia ed editors to improve Wikipedia entries related to government publications. Paul, this sounds very much like what we were seeing happening at Bilderberg. And we talk about how the major media, the mainstream media, the old media, has been complicit in covering up information that would be embarrassing to the government. Now we see that happening here at Wikipedia. They have the Office of the Federal Register, OFR, part of the National Archives, is hosting an edathon to focus on improving Wikipedia entries related to government publications. And the interesting thing, Paul, is that what they single out here in the quote, they said specific accomplishments from the event include a new article for CFR sections, a new model for future articles about the CFR. And, of course, the Council on Foreign Relations has been a large part of the global government, a large part of the American government. Pretty much every president since it was created uh, up until 2000, every president, every presidential candidate except for Goldwater and Reagan were CFR members. And then when Reagan got appointed, he put in over 300 CFR members into the Foreign Service, into the government bureaucracy there. So they're going to work. The government's going to work with Wikipedia to make sure that they have the accurate information out there. In other words, information that the government wants out there about the CFR and about other government agencies. So now we see that kind of metastasizing even into the Internet. Going back to the China thing to begin with, there is another aspect to it which you've got to take in cons into consideration, which is the fact that we've seen 
these attacks over the past few months that are getting more and more violent by the Uyghurs. This is a, a separatist group in the northwest of China linked to other terrorist organizations like the East Turkestan Islamic Movement, which came out of Afghanistan in the, in the 80s and was CIA backed. And there's a lot of evidence to suggest that these Uyghur attacks are also being CIA backed because they want to make China unstable. They want to try and create a Ukraine-style situation, which of course would be Ukraine on a, on a much bigger scale and eventually topple the Chinese government with a fake Chinese spring. So you have to look at who's behind these groups that are behind these increasingly violent attacks in China to know that it's part of the agenda uh, regarding Obama's pivot to Asia. It's about destabilizing the Chinese government because it's now with this new gas deal joining together with Russia and posing a threat to the unipolar world that the West stands for. And so they're, we need they're shifting alliances. And we're going to talk about that in, in the third hour. We're going to be joined with Richie Allen, and he's going to talk to us about what's going on at Bilderberg. Turn in the corrupt two-party failure. Tisha Cassida for Congress. Donate now at Cassida2014.com. C-A-S-I-D-A-2014.com. The next generation for liberty. The independent voice we need. Paid for by the committee to elect Tisha Cassida to Congress. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. Do you owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla, and I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks, I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. You watch the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight with Paul Joseph Watson in the UK. We were talking just before the break about what's going on in China. As Paul was pointing out, there's shifting alliances that are happening. We've got China and Russia working together, as well as now Bilderberg. Perhaps one of the biggest uh, things that we're talking about there were the transatlantic and transpacific partnerships. These kind of trade agreements that mirror what Rockefeller and others have been trying to create in the Trilateral Commission. For several decades. 
But, Paul, there was an article that was up on PrisonPlanet.com about China sending four more fighter jets to oil rig area as Vietnam threatens legal action. I thought that was pretty amazing. So there's not just uh, the, the tension between the United States and Japan, the United, uh, I'm sorry, between uh, China and the United States versus, and Japan together, but also now even China with Vietnam. And, of course, uh, the Vietnam War was very much a part of my life earlier, and to see that uh, Vietnam is no domino and really never was, was it? Well, exactly. And, you know, there, there was also a, a China-Vietnam war as well, which killed tens and tens of thousands of people. Yes. But this, this began on May 2nd when China basically just dumped a huge state-owned oil rig inside Vietnamese territory, inside their exclusive economic zone. So, it, and it was accompanied by... PLA warships at the time, so Vietnam could do very little to propel to repel it without starting some kind of conflict. A couple of weeks ago, we had reports of PLA troops being sent to the Vietnamese border to deal with some kind of uh, uh, conflict. So people down there are very, very concerned. People are evacuating in droves. Now today, we've had this new report. So again, it's, it's another flashpoint. It shows us that we need to be wary of all these different flashpoints around the world. And with Obama's pivot to Asia, uh, they're increasingly going to be in that region of the, of the world. You know, I, I see as we come to the anniversary of Tiananmen, Tiananmen Square, I see that uh, CNN is patting itself on the back for covering it, and I'm glad that they cover it. And there's kind of a sense of American superiority that we're not censoring the news like uh, China is censoring the news of Tiananmen Square. And yet, we really do. When I look at the story about China and Vietnam, it reminds me of the documentary The Fog of War. That's a 2004 film from documentary filmmaker Errol Morris where he interviewed Robert McNamara. And McNamara said in the, it was an extended interview that he turned into a feature-length documentary. And Robert McNamara said in that that he had since gone back to Vietnam and when he was talking to the Vietnamese general about it, the Vietnamese general at one point got up and angrily slammed the table and said, why did you do this? You say that you did this to stop the domino theory. We've been fighting China for thousands of years for our independence. Don't you know anything about history? And yet, with the Gulf of Tonkin and with the complicit media, they were able to keep that secret from the American public, keep that out of the textbooks in America, just like... China has been able to keep Tiananmen Square out of the news, out of the textbooks. Oh, no. I mean, you go to China and nobody knows what Tiananmen Square was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's only people who've moved out of the country and then gone back again. That's the only way that awareness of it has spread because there was a complete lockdown on information, obviously. But with that, I, I always hark, bo hark back to the David Rockefeller quote. Whatever the price of the Chinese revolution, it has obviously succeeded not only in producing more efficient and dedicated administration, but also in fostering high morale and community of purpose. <laughs> the social experiment in China under Chairman Mao's leadership is one of the most important and successful in human history. This is a, a, an administration that killed upwards of 30 million people. And of course, the, the Tiananmen Square protesters were anti-communist. So... That goes to the heart of how the global elite view these these different genocides around the world. David yes. Rockefeller. And people say, oh, that's a fake quote. I found the original New York Times article from 1973. It's documented. It's a real quote. A lot of these quotes, David, some, you know, you do find them to be false. But that's a, that's a genuine David Rockefeller quote about a regime that killed upwards of 30 million people. He said it was a success. And if you like mouse social engineering and massive starvation, you're going to love what the Bilderberg, Bilderberg Group is planned for us. We'll be right back with Richie Allen. Stay tuned. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. I don't know what it is. Ralph just won't pay any attention to me. When he comes home from work, all he ever does is play video games and go to sleep. It's like I don't even exist. Oh, Betty, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? If the answer to this question is yes, then listen carefully. Toxic pesticides, GMO foods and additives, BPA plastics, contaminated water supplies. Many of these toxic additives are deliberately engineered to attack and weaken human masculinity. It's part of the eugenics population control movement. Look it up. If men are more interested in 
online gaming than they are in their wives, a serious population crisis is soon to follow. Energize the man in your life with super male vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. It's designed to aid the body in ways that help invigorate your natural systems without artificial testosterone, completely free of GMOs, harmful additives, gluten, and is made right here in the USA. Get your super male vitality right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139.